Don't miss the newest main battle tank variant for the Custodes. Spiky bits. What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear with you again today, checking out the new variant for the Custodes main battle tank. I think this is called the Calatus. <laughs> I said it wrong in our first video when we showcased. Uh, the original armament that came out for this thing and I was uh, quickly corrected so I, I hope I got it right there guys uh, the Calatus almost like Alanis but Calatus <laughs> anyways this is uh, the cool hover grab tank for the custodies it goes for I want to say okay so it's 85 pounds right so that would be almost a hundred dollars us Whoop, there's the big part so it comes with your main battle tank component right there of course you get the, the night titan base a whole bundle of accessories uh, some check stuff right there and then the left and right nacelles uh, for this bad boy right there so let's take a look at the instructions so if you didn't catch our first unboxing video you can kind of get a feel uh, for how this one goes together now of course it's literally the same except for the armament here it's got the uh arcanus heavy blaze cannon instead of what was the other one the illustrious forget what the other one was it was yeah the illustrious accelerator cannon very similar uh, weapon to what comes on uh, the sicaran battle tank there so here it is you can see uh, it's got the different top and then here's the exploded view this is going to show you a little bit better. Of course, they've got that new flight stand right there that will lock in to the round ring, which then in turn can go on to any base, no matter what size you're putting on there. So you can kind of see you got the left and right nacelle. you got your anti-grab parts, your maneuvering fins, your uh, afterburner engine components here, the turret itself, your back plate. This isn't going to be the open kind of cockpit type deal like the transport, which is oh, amazingly detailed. I love that thing. I fell in love with it as soon as I unboxed it. I was like, Bleh. this got real. <laughs> this thing's are really cool. So here, just real quick, you can see it's a couple of quick steps to get it together. Left and right side basically are symmetrical. They go together very easily. And then you attach them onto the main body hole. You've got the chin turret. Now this, uh, you could... You, you could glue this on here or paint it separate, whichever whichever you want. There's no uh, right way or wrong way to do it. And then, of course, you got the last from bolt cannons right there. I believe the bolt cannons, uh, if they're similar to the Mauler, it's uh, strength 6, AP3 kind of kind of type shot there, like a faux plasma. But we'll check that rules here in a second. And then your generator on the back, control surfaces, you know, maneuvering. Uh, thrusters right there then your top turret and then there's the blaze cannon bracings and the main barrel itself for both of course it's uh, symmetrical again and then the coolant flasks go into it right there so overall pretty easy kit you know don't glue down the turret because that's just silly taking a look at the components themselves let's zoom in a little bit uh, it doesn't look as impressive when you're way out here but when we zoom in a little bit more there we go. And you can obviously tell there's a little bit of shine on this. Always make sure that you wash this down with a little bit of degreaser. Uh, it could be your dish soap. I, I use like a Dawn dish soap and a toothbrush and just get in there and scrub it all down. Leave it out to dry overnight and you're good to go. There's your, uh, this looks to be your starboard nacelle. Of course, you got your port nacelle right here. And this is all coming super bubble wrapped and well protected so there's those components we'll just slide them off to the side you've got the main body or a hole here so you got some sort of remember there's an accelerator kind of type ring here very similar to what we've seen in the past with some uh stuff like the mastodon underneath you got the graph plates uh, some access panels some piping and things incredible detail i mean this thing is obviously well done place for the underslung anti-personnel uh, guns and then the front cockpit all of this is one piece it's not going to move you got the palantine eagle right there very cool stuff uh the spot for the maneuvering veins let's slide these big big components out of the way here and then we get into the little stuff which is all i mean things we've shown you in the past in the last unboxing here are well, we'll wait and show you the, the cannons last so here's your your uh, maneuvering fins lock in right there so you can actually position them however you want this is uh well it's the base for the flying stand <laughs> so that you might have to bend in some hot water 
Here's some parts to the gun itself. Here's your thruster, your afterburner thrusters right there. Part of your turret on the top. Got some, I don't know what these are. Oh, that's the barrel pieces. Interesting little baggie here. So they came, so they came with a little uh, baggie here and those are the anti-grav plates that are gonna go on the left and right parts of those nacelles there. Uh, here's your underslung mauler or your bolt cannon. That's going to lock right up into uh, this piece here, which is going to lock itself into the fuselage. And then you've got, uh, this is some coolant for that one. This is your rear engine section, which I'm not going to be able to show you because it's going to fit on there weird. Here's your clear flight stand piece that's going to go right there. It's nice and thick. Check that thing out right there. That's pretty crazy. I mean, when you start comparing it to the size of a Space Marine, this is actually pretty, pretty big. Then you got more thrusters, uh, more small, small little scale thrusters right there. So there's all that, and I'll slide this out of the way and show you the turret. So here's the top turret. It's gonna have uh, this brace on it. Actually, I don't know which way it goes. Let's see if I can tell from the picture. Hmm. Looks like you can't tell from the picture. We'll have to tell from the guns. There we go. Okay, so that is the front. So we're gonna build that out. This is the start of the cannon. The cannon's gonna go on the front here. It looks like there's little pieces that go on the back. Besides the coolant flask, where are those at? Oh, it's uh, something called focusing chamber. Hmm. I think the instructions might be a bit wrong because it looks like there's pieces that go on the back there that they did not take into Account. That's weird. Am I missing a piece? Nope, I have the wrong piece. That's what's going on here. Oh, that's what it is. So I guess, nope, the instructions are right. Okay, so this goes into here. These two sockets go into the back right here. That's where your cooling pieces or your cooling focus bits are gonna go. Oh, man down, okay, so here they are. Those are gonna lock in right here. This is gonna form your turret which will go to the front, just like this. Then you get your barrels on there. Obviously, I'm not gonna clip all these chunks off right yet, but that is where they all go. And then your barrel braces are gonna go across here, it looks like, and then they lock into the focusing on the front. Yep, so they just snap into those grooves right there. That looks like that is very easily done. I like that, I like that design, that's pretty neat. And then these, these ammo plates go so that's that that's that right there maneuvering thrusters hmm I have these little ammo pieces right here they look like some sort of generators oh cool they go on the back of the turret right there I didn't even see that neat check that out so there's these little thrusters they go right, or not thrusters, the power source itself goes in right there. So that's a really cool turret. Okay, so that makes a lot more sense and then both the barrels are right there. Now overall, this is a def definitely a different configuration than what we've seen with the last version, which I have a painted version of right here. My buddy Daniel over at Fast and Ready Painted literally put together 2,000 points of custodies for me, base coated them, check it out base coated this uh, it's all airbrushed up and base coated I'm gonna detail these out of future I uh, got the piece right there that that actually pops off uh, I got all the pieces we're gonna finish painting these up at a future date but I mean he literally put this stuff together base coated it had it back to me within two weeks so make sure you check him out at fast and ready painting amazing uh, over on Facebook uh, amazing artist he gets the stuff done quick uh, well, I guess that's why it's fast and ready, right? So if you can if you can hang with this kind of quality here and get your army pretty much base coated to, to a tabletop level in less than two weeks, make sure you hit him up over on Fast and Ready Painting because I cannot say enough good things about him. So you can tell that there is a distinguishable dis difference between the turrets. So this one isn't going to be quite as big, right? Uh, it's not going to be quite... This is actually way bigger. Check this thing out. Like, this turret is... This turret is massive compared to the to the old one right there. And it's got all those assemblies and things. It's almost like Forge World leveled up when they were making uh, the new turret there. But of course, the bottom is all the same, like I said there. Now let's check it out rules-wise. I'm gonna stop the 
and uh, stop the video, clean this all up, come back, let's talk about the rules between the two for Horus Heresy. So as you can see here, the Calatus is 195 points, uh, 13, 13, 11, three whole points for this bad boy. It's got the grab, backwash, special rule, unless the vehicle has become immobilized, attack yourself neg two to hit and assault, which doesn't seem too bad. It's got deep strike, outflank, and of course the grab, backwash right there. Comes standard with the Elastris Assault, uh, Accelerator Cannon normally, Flare Shield, and Machine Spirit, uh, Twin Link Bolt Cannon there, and we're going to check that one if it's not in here. I have a sneaky suspicion that it is the Strength 6 AP3 uh, variant, just like the Molar uh, Bolt Cannon there. It is with Ballistic Skill 5. Now, if you sub out for the Heavy Blaze Cannon, it's going to be 15 points. Flip over to this section here, and you can see that it is a 72, it's got two modes of fire, 72 inch range, strength 10, AP1, that ain't bad. <laughs> Heavy one, exo shock special rule, or you can burst fire it, 48 inches, strength eight, AP3 at heavy four, rapid tracking, remember it's a very similar, well, excuse me, that is for the, uh, that's for the accelerator cannon, which it comes with stock, which was uh, the one we showed you right here by Fast and Ready Ping. Uh, that one is a little bit different. So the Exoshock does pertain to this. So whenever a weapon successfully scores a penetrating hit on the target, roll a d6 on a roll of four up. A second automatic penetrating hit is inflicted on the same target against which cover saves may not be taken. So very cool stuff right there. So it's got two different modes of fire, just kind of depending on what you want to do. Straight shot or uh, a little bit more of a uh, multi-shot kind of option right there. And as far as the bolt cannon goes, let's see if we can find that one. Because I was... It's not the bolt Cal cavalier. Lastrum, was that Lastrum Stormbolt? I forget. Yep, it is Lastrum. Okay, so 36, string 6, AP3. Yep, called it with the heliothermic detonation right there, you can see. And uh, you gotta take a toughness test. If you fail the toughness test, you suffer instant death. That sucks. <laughs> Don't get wounded by this and fail your toughness test. Well, there it is right there. So I, it's very similar to the Mahler Bolt Cannon. Of course, it doesn't have the heliothermic uh, detonation special rule right there. So very cool stuff. Again, it's the second version of uh, the Cal Calatus. <laughs> I keep wanting to call it Calatus. Uh, Grav Tank for 195 points. And of course, the special rules are found, or its rules are found in the Inferno book for Horus Heresy. Remember, this is running off the 7th edition, not the current 8th edition rules uh, that are already being previewed and out there floating around the internet for the brand new 8th edition 40k. So who knows what the future of Horus Heresy holds, but I can tell you what, uh, the Custodes tanks and the Custodes in general are always very cool looking right here, and I can't wait to finish uh, getting this painted up. Remember, check out Fast and Ready Painting for all of your quick commission tabletop standard type deals right now today over on Facebook.